Over the past 20 years, I saw a very interesting trend with the patients that were coming into my office. You had one group that were 80, 90, and 100 years old. And I had this little thing I could look at the chart and I can see they would be 95 years old, and the list of medications would be few, if any. Then I take a look around the room, no walker, no cane, no wheelchair, no oxygen tank. Then I would look at them and ask them, what have you been eating? And they would passionately talk about the fruits and vegetables that they've been eating, even the garden that they have. They would bring in maybe a bag of the tomatoes or a bag of the squash, and they were very passionate about their relationship with what they were consuming. I had one patient, he told me, he says, forget about reading the label. If it's got a label, I won't eat it. You know, to really underscore the fact that eating fresh, unprocessed foods is the way to really stay healthy. In fact, I believe the body was engineered for unprocessed foods, similar to, to a way a car was engineered for uh, high octane gasoline. Then it was another group that would come to the office, the 30, 40, 50 year old group with a cornucopia of medications and a myriad list of illnesses and ailments and wheelchairs and walkers and oxygen tanks. And I would ask them, what did you eat for dinner last night? It would be some fast food joint. I call it slop shop number two and three and their skin wasn't bright, they seemed lethargic, no energy at all. Uh, many of the men had male complications, if you know what I mean, at a very young age. Then you had men that were 80, 90, and 100, at least talking about doing some things intimately. So with all of these things combined, I decided that I would kind of talk about it and write about it and get more information from these patients that seem to be living, I believe, the, the quality of life that we all deserve.